G'day legends, Aaron here from As Ventures Australia. Welcome back to the shed. Today we're going to do a how-to video on installing some new disc brakes and rotors into my Ford Ranger. Let's get into it. So for this operation, I've jumped online and, and bought all my products that I'm putting on this today, um, just online. Um, I'll leave the link um, to each product um, in the description, so if you guys want to buy some, get on there and, and buy some. So first of all, I've um, just done one wheel at the moment, but I'll show you, this is my old rotor. Um, it's a bit hard to see, but as you can see, up here all these heat heat spots i've been burning through through these um they they got down to the the little um indicator and they squint on a little bit here and there but you can't really tell but the grooves on here this should be nice and smooth but um yeah it's real groovy so which isn't a good thing for the rotors i've chosen to go for the D, dba t2 slotted um, these things are epic. Have a look, have a go at that. Look at that. These things, just beefy as, just smooth and beautiful. Oh, I've chosen to go with the slotted, slotted rotors, purely because I've weighed up my options. The amount of time that I spend driving around um, on a day-to-day -day basis, Towing, towing my work trailer, it's heavy, being a chippy is like nearly two ton. And then coupled up with um, my bigger tires that I'm running on my car, it's not a great combination. So I did a bit of research and I've come up with um, the slotted, slotted rotors. Um, I think it's gonna be better. Yes, they are slotted out on the tracks. They might get some rocks and some sand in there um, every now and then. Uh, I'm not too worried about that because my daily driving and my off-road driving, um, my daily driving outweighs it. So that's why I've gone with the slotted rotors. It's up to you what you go, but for me, this is what I'm doing. I've gone with the Bendix um, heavy duty brake pads. No bedding in, so you can just plant them down straight away. Quite easy to fit, very, very simple. Yeah, I'll do a comparison. I'll do a quick comparison for you. So there's my old brake pad versus the new brake pad. There's a big difference, these are almost gone. You can tell up the top here, they're, they're wearing out, so we'll throw those ones out. Throw these ones in. I'm, I'm keen as to test them out. Another thing that I bought is I bought some Neulon um, brake cleaner. Um, just you don't want your finger marks and, and oils and, and grit on on your brakes when you first use them so give these a clean down when when i put them on so there's not really too many tools that you need for this this sort of thing um, i'm just doing it in my driveway um, a, a trolley jack some car stands um, i would definitely recommend getting a big i don't know cordless rattle gun air rattle gun saves you heaps of time taking the taking the tires off For my car, I need a 13mm socket to take off the brake caliper um, where, the, where the brake pads go in, a 18mm um, socket to get the whole caliper off the, the rotor itself, that's an extra shifter and a flathead screwdriver to get the pads out. Then another thing I would highly recommend that you go buy, I'd recommend you get a brake caliper piston compressor just because the difference um, between the old pads and the new pads is going to be 15 to 17 mil, I would say. Um, so you've got to compress your pistons to open, open them up to get them back and rotors. Um, so without further ado, let's go get into it. There you go, I've got the car all jacked up and on stands. So let's get into it. First things first, take the wheel off.
So as you saw, always safe practice, just to throw the throw your wheel under the chassis rail. Um, you never know, something might happen and that could potentially save you from a broken leg or death. First things first, I'm going to undo this nut up the top that holds the brake line on. This will just allow a bit more um, length in the, the brake line. So when we undo this bolt, it'll flap down. Um, next thing, we grab a shifter onto this inside nut that holds the bolt in place. That just goes on there and out the back here. Just crack that. There we go. Now as you see, that, that just stays in there. We can push that back in there because that moves in and out with the piston. There we go. As you can see, our, our pistons in the caliper are all the way out. Next thing, these, um, the old brake pads, they will literally just fall out because they're so worn out, as you can see. We'll put that to the side. And the other one, also fall out. We're gonna use one of these. We'll put that one back into there. And then this is where our piston um, spreader comes into play. So we just put that in there and we're gonna compress our caliper pistons all the way open again. There we go. You'll definitely know when they're fully open. It's very hard to see, even in this light for myself, but they'll tell you um, in and out and right hand drive um, what side what side they go on on the car. So we'll put the outside one in first. They literally just clip back in. And on this side, inside. There we go. And now we'll put this caliper back on. Do this up again. That's the brake pads done. Now to take the, ca the caliper off, it's... Oh, there you go. Just gonna use my stool for the caliper to sit on so it doesn't stretch the brake line. Now the caliper's off. It's as simple as just removing the old rotor. Now for the new ones. Whew. Look at that. That is beautiful. Now I'm just gonna give it a, a quick um, squirt with the, the brake cleaner on both sides, just to get rid of any grease from my hands. And then for now, I'm just gonna put one of the nuts back on just to try and hold it in place. And I'll get the caliper again, slide it back on like that where it needs to go. Put the top bolt in. And the bottom bolt. You know, we just tighten everything back up again. And now we just put, put the brake line back in. Last but not least, all we got to do now, put the wheel back on. There you go guys, the brake pads and rotors done in my driveway. I reckon under two hours, um, I was messing about with the camera and all, but I reckon two hours, a couple of beers, yeah, you can do it any hour of the week, you know. You might save yourself a couple of hundred bucks as well. Just I just did the front ones in mine. It's, it's always a good idea um, I think to, to be able to do stuff like this to your car. It's a pretty simple job as you as you saw But I highly recommend you guys give it a crack and, and let me know how you go
I'll also leave uh, the description to to every one of the products that I've used in the description below. So don't forget, as always, um, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. See you on the tracks.